Hello, hello, hello my fantastic subscribers and welcome back to some more Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Bros edition on the Nintendo 3DS. I have to say that one real slow because I, I find it a bit of a tongue twister for myself. But anyway, we are back with part 3 and we have just made our way to a brand new world which is World 2. It is based in a cave. I was actually thinking it's going to be a desert themed area as it's kind of like a, tra tra uh, a traditional thing with Mario games uh, such as Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Bros on uh, Wii U. There's always a desert um, themed world at least on the second world so anyway it's a cave and I guess we'll check this one out so the first level we have enemies of the coop okay pretty much everything to Cooper down here question mark block items okay what we actually need is a p-wing because if we actually get our hands on the p-wing we'll be able to transform one of our monsters into either a Cooper paratrooper or either a paragoomba which is something I have my eye set on so we'll dive into this level we'll see how it actually goes for us um if you didn't see the last episode, be sure to check that out because we actually came across our, f our very first major boss battle, which was a lot of fun. Actually, scrap that. We're going to go back and select another team here. Uh, we just unlocked some brand new characters, which consist of the Ice Power Mario and the Ice Power Luigi. It's not actually called the Ice Power, it's just called Ice Luigi and Ice Mario. But yeah, we're going to go with Ice Mario here. Um, I just actually leveled them up to level 4. It, they do have a few differences as I'll show you here as you can see okay this is level 4 same as Super Mario and then you have Super Mario, then you have Small Mario uh, but we're going to compare him here with Super Mario um, his health points are 3, 8, 15 and then the other one is 3 okay that's Small Mario okay my bad okay where's where's the other Mario here he is and yes Super Mario here is a 3, 9, 3, 4 in the health department so you will find a few different um, uh, stats which is really cool they're not all the same everyone's different from one another so it does actually does have you thinking about which team shall I go with which team's best gonna suit me in this area but then again when you come into a new area it's kind of hard to um know what you're coming up against but we'll see here I mean it does give you like a small hint of what to expect but um not entirely because you will get a few like mystery enemies in there and stuff like that and our helper assistant will be for Ice Luigi as you know that's probably not a wise decision we'll just go Super Luigi here just in case it's probably wise to have one ice and then one of something else so as you can see the leader skill raises attack and RBC which I'm still not entirely sure what that means I'm guessing it means like recovery something of your water attribute team members by 1.5 so kind of cool and here we go let's it go they say yeah but as I picked up on this earlier what I love about these these um these are uh, cave missions you get the awesome Mario music such as this one of the most old school retro classic vintage old school super powerful Mario unrealistic songs ever to be created I actually love this song so much I uh, just listen to it oh yeah okay I'll stop ruining it here we go so yes we're finally up against brand new enemies the element of light is going to be our best friend here, so we'll get a little match of four going in, and then a little combo with the blue orb. Alright, so a line of four is enough to take one of these enemies down, but not enough to take both of them down. Light bind is the move he is using on us, and actually does... Okay, what does that actually do to us? If you can see on the top screen there, it's kind of going weird on our ally screen selection there. I kind of wonder if we make a... a match here with our light orbs is that gonna do anything is it gonna like backfire on us or something do you know what? I think that they even work it or I think it just like cancels out whatever attack you make so that's kind of a bad thing as you can see it does have a countdown as well so in one turn it should be back to normal so I guess we'll just go with an ordinary combo of fire and water which probably will be enough to seal the deal and take down this enemy you probably would guess these uh, buzzy beetles will actually be something we can actually unlock as an ally for ourselves. But I guess we'll only find out um, by the end of this level. We've got another golden Koopa. These are actually the Koopas of Light. I find them so weird. They, get, they look like shiny ray Koopas to me, but they're actually just ordinary ones. Not very strong at all, but they're still really awesome to have. Alright, we're taking you all the way around here for a nice little match. Combo of three there turns into a combo of five. And that should be enough to take down this enemy here. Obviously, dark's gonna be a lot more effective against this, but we don't really have any dark type enemies at the moment. You think those buzzy beetles are actually are actually gonna be the element of light? Actually, they're pretty I'm pretty sure they are the element of light. We do have we do actually have a toad who is an assistant helper of ours, and he is pretty useful in that department. But anyway, we need to actually make 
Clear four stars. Okay. Four stars. This could be tricky. Um. Okay, how shall we do this? We wanna. Oh god, there's not really many stars here to work with, is there? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, let's keep dropping those stars down. We need to make clear four star in a group. Alright, is this gonna work? Oh, thank goodness. I thought we had to keep, make four combos of stars. It was just four in a group. My bad, I, I read that wrong. But we did make it in the end and we gained something from it. Do you know what? I actually didn't even see what it was on screen, but never mind. Never mind. We've got ugh, two red Coopers here. Um. They're going to be weak, weak to water, so... Let's see what we can come up with. Alright, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. Definitely going to take at least one down, hopefully both. And yes, both, there we go. Pretty solid team so far, I'm not really sure if Ice Mario is benefiting us or not, but he, he seems... I mean, he looks really awesome, so I'm definitely happy enough with, with his look in our team right now but yes one more level and we should be on or one more obstacle and then we should be on the boss battle so each like level does have a boss battle you do get major boss battles when you head into a castle or if you're on the last level of a world but these ones are pretty much just ordinary but it's still a lot of fun they can be a bit of a challenge still and yes we need to go light again here and obviously we need to go all right we're gonna go this way and then get a light match in there Not enough, not enough. Light bind. Oh, that's what it is. So your light members are paralyzed. But then again, something else is paralyzed here, which is Luigi. You're telling me Luigi is light as well? I thought it would be like wood or something, just judging by his color. Oh dear. Well, that's kind of good to know. In a way. That's going to get very very frustrating if he keeps paralyzing us um, in, in the future because I'm pretty sure we, we're going to be seeing a lot more of him. Uh, we're still paralyzed so I doubt this is going to do much for us. See I'm still not sure if that actually does. You can still make the matches but I'm still not sure if it actually makes, um, if you actually deal any damage. That's something I still need to figure out. Almost one more and it should be over. And there we go. Alright, sweet. I think we've just leveled up. And bring on the boss. What's it going to be this time? Alright, just two Cooper Parrot Troopers. Not too much trouble here. We can go with a bit of uh, healing. Do we actually want to go for that healing? I really don't think we want to. We'll get this out of the way, and when the heart drops down, it should actually match into a star combo. And a pre... It, it felt smart in my head, but it wasn't actually that effective, so... Not the best start to this boss battle. Yeah, so he is weak to water. We'll go for skill move here. Uh, flame Dance is actually one of our new um, allies. Not Flame Dance, that's not his name. He's actually called the Flame Chomp. Um, flame Dance is just one of his skills. So he actually raises the attack of fire attributes, not that we, we really need to go with that. Uh, green shell changes wood orbs into water orbs is actually what we need to go with so there we go that looks really pretty right now I love all these water orbs yes give me the water so we wanna switch it in there and then we'll obviously go with a bit of healing okay, that, was, that was a huge combo I mean it was only like a combo of four but some of the, the combinations in there were were a massive and it was enough to take down both paratroopers and there we go we've leveled up our gummer to level nine Believe it or not, that Goomba is actually our highest level character in the game so far. And there we go, course clear. Okay, so we get a fire block and we get a super mushroom. To evolve, to transform our, our Koopa Paratrooper, you actually need five of those super mushrooms. Some of these items are actually very, very difficult to come across. So I think it's going to be a lot of grinding to be done. To get that, we're still actually after a P-Wing. We've been after a P-Wing for like the last six or seven levels so that's pretty hard to get across as well but anyway good news you can now use a skill up in the toad house 
Collect skill items like star coins and use them to strengthen your allies' skills. So, um, yeah, let's check that out right now. So back in the Toast House we go, thankfully not really far in this world, so we can just dive straight in. And here is the skill up section. This is skill up, here you can use, blah, 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 we know what to do. Alright, so let's give this a shot. So here you can use skill items to increase the skill level of your allies. When you raise the level of a skill, the number of turns required to use it goes down. Choose a character whose skill level you want to raise. Okay. So obviously you want to go with someone here, which we use quite frequently. And to be honest, we actually don't really use... We, we're always mixing and matching, so I'm not really sure who we should go with. We'll go with one of our light um, enemies here, which is the yellow Cooper Paratrooper. So, what do we do from here? Do we just click on him? Okay, make sure you have all the items. I think we should have. Oh no, we need berries for that, so we actually can't do anything with him. We just go with an ordinary Mario here. I'm pretty sure we've got the tools for Mario. Oh, it actually glows on, on what you have enough for. So we've got the Star Coins here. You have four, you need three. Uh, what this actually does for us, I'm trying to read it somewhere. Uh, we'll just go into this because it's got to be done at some point anyway. Okay, our skill increase. Skill level one to two. Turns required. Oh, I see. So, once we've made 11 moves then we're eligible to use one of our skills. I wasn't really sure how it works, because it actually works different in, in the puzzle and Dragon Z mode. I think in that mode, you, it just requires for you to make a certain amount of combos or something like that. Here it's turns. Whatever it is, it's different. I'm not really sure how, what, in what way it's different, but I'm, it definitely is different. So uh, let's see what else we can do. We can actually, oh, so, oh, do you know what? It's actually gonna be quite hard to come across all these coins. Oh dear, so we can actually, yeah, we can't actually level up any other characters, so we'll dive straight into another level here, which is the second level of World 2. And as we've just leveled up that Mario, we're going to go with our Super Mario and uh, see how this goes. Helper. Hmm. We'll take Toad this time. Uh, what does he do? Dark Heart. Changes Dark Orbs into Heart Orbs. Okay, that's not really ideal. I thought Yellow Toad would be something to do with light, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Oh, so these Toads are, more, are all about healing, pretty much. Uh, we just go with... Oh, jeez, they're all about healing! We'll go with this. We'll go with, we'll go with Super Luigi. We'll keep the Mary Rose intact here. You can't keep brothers apart, especially brothers this tight. This is brotherly love at its best. Oh yes, oh yes, we've got the Piranha, and we have another one of these enemies, the Dark type enemies, which is kind of why I was hoping that that Yellow Toad was the element of light, because I was pretty sure it was going to come across these once again. And as you can see, we've got like these poisonous mushrooms on the screen here, which is kind of weird, it kind of seems like a booby trap of some sort. I feel like if we make a match with those, then it's going to backfire on us, so we're going to try and avoid those as much as possible. And that could actually be quite tricky, so we'll start things with a combo of fire. We've got quite a few we can make here, but we'll make one just down below. Oh wow, that was almost enough to take down that Prime in one. Alright, next one should be enough to take him down. So, we'll go. Oh dear, oh dear, let's get one of these out of the way. Oh no, no, we've made a combo with the Poisonous Mushroom. Do you know what, it may not even be Poisonous. I think I'm worrying too much. Your team wins. Okay, we didn't seem to actually take any damage there so I think we're pretty much safe so what is this what is this this mushroom on the screen it's got like the poisonous symbol on there oh, I'm, oh my who's in our our allies yeah we're using the same allies as always but I've actually never seen the this uh this orb on the field so this is kind of weird for me guys I'm not sure what you you lot think but this is kind of weird for me I don't think I like it Oh, that's a pretty solid combo there. Not that we really, really, really actually need to make it. But we're going down the warp pipe, and these are actually pretty useful. It's not just like a little gimmick here. It's actually very helpful. It finds... It actually unlocks secret areas on the world map, and it actually can get you, um, like, special items. So it's always worth trying to go down these little entrances. 
because it will benefit you. Anyway. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to make a match with one of these poison mushrooms and we'll see what she actually does. I mainly did that just to make that water combo there. And yeah, it actually doesn't really backfire or prevent us or affect us in any way. So I think it's going to be pretty useful. Let's not be scared of it anymore, guys. Or I should probably be speaking for myself. I'm not really sure if you guys were worried about it, but I certainly was. Now we have the magic of the orb here. We'll make one little basic combo here. We'll get a bit of healing in there as well. And yeah, these power orbs are very special. I mean, just one little sim. Okay, wait, that didn't do anything for us. Hmm, weird, huh? Huh. It wasn't quite quick enough there to make it all the way back around. Red shell. How comes I, our Cooper can't do that red shell move? Damn, there's no quitting these Coopers. I never met a Cooper this strong before. But yeah, this, this game has, has surprised me a lot. I mean, I was always interested in it at first, but I never actually knew, knew I'd had this much fun with it. There's a lot more to this game than you may actually think, and it's actually pretty cheap on the market, so... If you're looking for something new to play, whether it's, um... Wait, my bad, guys. I thought my... Yeah, as I was saying, if you're finding, for, like, if you're finding um, it hard to, to find like a brand new game for yourself to play, I think you should have no hesitation and you should just go with this game because this game will definitely give you a lot of hours. It's, it's, it's got two games in one. You've got the Mario Bros here which is always awesome for any Nintendo game. And there's a lot of depth to this game. You may not think it at first but trust me guys, there's a lot to this game which has even surprised me. I mean, I've been following this game a fair amount of time and there's still there's actually been a lot in this game which has surprised me. So for me, it's definitely my money well spent. It only costs around... This is for the UK, it only cost me around uh, £25 and actually came with Mario Plush as well. And if you go like look on Amazon and stuff like that or eBay, you can probably pick this up for around £20 which is a really good price for any new game. Because new games these days are actually ridiculously priced, you'll find them £60, £50 and stuff like that. But that's mainly with other companies, Nintendo's always fair of their prices. With Nintendo games the most you're going to spend on one is like £40 in the UK. And even the new game such as Splatoon, that's only going to be like £35, which is absolutely insane. If you get it on Nintendo's website, you'll be finding that game for at least, probably about... This is a bundle by the way, you'll probably find it... Because I know I know one of the versions has sold out, but there's actually another version which comes with an Amiibo and a Splatoon t-shirt, which you'll be able to pick up for about £40 or at least £45 maximum, but then again you are getting an Amiibo and a Splatoon t-shirt which is super awesome and that's why you gotta love Nintendo. I mean there may be some things you hate about them such as their YouTube agreements and stuff like that but um, they make up for it in many other ways so I'm really excited about that. I've actually pre-ordered my version already so be quick guys because it's not going to last forever and you know what as I was rambling on there we actually took a lot of suffering so we need to get back on track here and make up for lost time. Alright, solid little combo there. Or maybe also those poisonous mushrooms. Ha have those been affecting us, guys? Because I'm still not too sure about those. Well, thankfully we've got some of our health back. We've taken down another enemy. These damn beetles. And we've leveled up our Super Mario. Sweet. Alright, a couple more to go. Well, we've done it again. Whether it's going to work or not. We've done another one of those power orbs. Oh wait, we've got a new enemy here. Or maybe... No, that can't be. I'm getting the feeling these poisonous mushrooms may be something to do with the dark enemies that we have here on screen. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking too much into it, so... We'll just see what happens. Oh god, still not enough to take him down? Really?
Run away, you coward. Well, at least he's not going to trouble us anymore. And yes, we have another warp pipe here. And this one was definitely compulsory, so here we go. And it leads us straight to our second boss battle of the video. We've got a piranha plant here and the buzzy beetles. So two, be two beetles, one piranha. Let's do this. Here I will start things off with a simple combo, which actually turns out to be one hell of a combo. And that was enough to take down all three enemies, which was... Oh wow, that was very, very surprising, but that was very impressive, guys. I'm proud of you. And there we go, we've got a dark block there, which may actually be the buzzy beetle. Hopefully so, because we we've actually got nothing which uh, consists of dark enemies, or whatever you want to call them. Dark, yeah, dark enemies, that's what they are. Why am I asking you guys if that's what you want to call them? That's what they are, damn it. And here we have the Buzzy Beetle. He has became an ally. Ah, yes, I was right. So as you can see there, it's actually got that symbol we were so scared of. And there we go, level 2. We've actually found him at level 2, which is kind of cool. And next up is level 3 of World 2. As you can see, we've got some weird water pipes moving in the background there. You can always leave courses midway. Did you know that? Just choose menu and then select exit course. Okay, thanks Toad for the tip, but we're not really a quitter, so we'll keep going. And yeah, we're probably going to wrap things up for now, guys. The further you get in this game, then the longer these, these levels take, so this one's actually taking us around 20 minutes, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you do want to see more, please let me know down in the comment section below, because it really does help, guys, um, on let me know if you're enjoying the series or not. Um, we have actually been doing a bit of Puzzle in Dragons Z, Oh, I think we've made it to about seven episodes. Seven, ugh, seven episodes of that. I'm not really sure if I should continue that one or just continue on with the Mario Bros. one. I'm pretty sure you guys will, you guys will actually prefer this one more because of all the Mario references we got here. And you're obviously going to be more familiar with these characters. Same with me, and it's probably more friendly to newcomers such as myself. So I'm always happy to do any of the modes, but if you do want to see this one, then just let me know. I'm happy to do it. And yeah, please be sure to give it a thumbs, a thumbs up as it really does help, guys. It, it really does help. Seriously, please hit that thumbs up button. And uh, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for all the support so far, not just in this game, but also with Pokemon Shuffle and literally everything else I've done. I've come a long way. I've been on YouTube for around a year now, and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks to you guys. And that's going to be all for now. So until next time, have a great day, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.